Uh, AJ, let's just go to the West Division right now. So you got the Wilds, heavy underdogs to Vegas. Do you think Las Vegas here has the clear edge? I do, and and a lot of it, I think, comes down to just sheer experience here, right? You've got Max Pacioretty, Jonathan Marchesaw, Mark Stone. All these guys have been in playoff contests. They know what they're doing. They've got a three-time Stanley Cup winner between the Pipes and Marc-Andre Fleury. On the other side, the top three of the top four uh, point producers for Minnesota were Kirill Kaprasov, 51, Kevin Fiala, 40, Jordan Greenway at 32. These guys have combined for 31 postseason games. Uh, I think Cam Talbot has played better than we've seen from him since he was with the Edmonton Oilers uh, several years ago. Um, but overall, the flurry leonard combination is is too much. I give the edge to the Golden Knights and the Nets. I give the edge in the forward complement and the D as well, even though that's kind of what Minnesota is known for. They check all three boxes for me, and so I think they'll take this one as well. So I'm going to stay away from it at, at minus 240. Uh, you know, it is still hockey. That's a risk too big to take uh, in, in my book. You have to have the edge everywhere in your eyes too. No, I don't think they do. I mean, I'm surprised to see the wild at this price. I thought we'd get my plus 150, maybe even like plus 130. I mean, the wild are a good team. They were chasing down the top two teams in this division all season. Um, you know, no, it's like, it's not a big deal for them to finish third. These are two of the best teams in the league. Right. But look, Vegas, we don't know what's going on with Max Pacioretty, their best forward up front. Their offense could easily run dry here against a pretty solid defense of the Minnesota wild. Like AJ said, Cam Talbot playing really well. This is my favorite underdog pick of the ones we've talked. I mean, like I said, I don't mind taking Montreal, but I think the Wild are absolutely live in this series. It's a very scrappy team. They get scoring from different directions. they got a guy like Kevin Fiala who can get hot playing on their third line here. Um, look, at, at the very least, like I just think these odds are, are not giving enough respect to the Wild. 